uh, this is the continuation of the previous video uh, where we were learning like how to um, play with uh, play with a whiteboard or a chalkboard with the kid and what sort of simple shapes that we can introduce that the kids will um, enjoy and there are multiple ways uh, which we can use uh, with the kids who are just learning to talk and the kids who are who have some kind of speech delay this is a very good tool um, because it's like you know it encourages more action and reaction and um, initially you can start with simple shapes like um, so it, it, there are multiple things that we can do we can do colors like which color we want to use so we can encourage them to, you know, um, choose a color. Do you want red? Do you want blue? And uh, try sometimes like with my kid, it was hard for um, her to make choice because she does not care about, she just want to write. Um, so she just want like, you know, any color. So she was, uh, she will not say that she wants red or she wants blue. So try to change the object in order to make them choice. Do you want a chalk or do you want a color? So then you will encourage the child to say, oh, I want marker instead of chalk. Um, so you can uh, improvise in your strategies, but our goal is to make the kid talk. Um, so once the kid has a marker, then these are the simple shapes that we try. Um, so of course, like simple shapes like rectangle and triangle and circle heart, diamond. I do not introduce a uh, square so fast uh, till uh, they perfect the rectangle because rec it's hard to draw a perfect square and often when you draw a square the child will end up calling it rectangle. So we do not want them to you know force that idea of a square because a square is a rectangle so it's okay if, if the child is calling it as a rectangle. These are the like you know quite contrasting uh, even the diamond sometimes the kid can get confused like if their orientation is very good and then they can recognize it as a rectangle go with what they are recognizing just introduce it to them and then ask them what do they think and if they think it's a rectangle perfect it's a rectangle do not force it because you will um, they will tr they will unlearn the rectangle as well when they will master the idea of um, the other shapes then you can introduce, you know, let's try to make it rectangle into a square. Oh, look, this is same. And um, the square will be a good um, concept to introduce using a real object, which they can see like, yeah, they are equal. When you're drawing, it's hard for them to understand that, yeah, it has four equal sides. That's why it's a square. So um, that's why I uh, recommend uh, introducing square later and using real objects so that which they can measure that yes, these are equal and when they, jo they are joined, they make a um, uh, square. And uh, the other thing uh, is like uh, expressions. They it will help you with the uh, feeling as well that, oh, it's a happy face. It's a sad face. And oh no, it's crying, crying. So you can, ex you are uh, introducing three new objects and as well as the feelings um, and then you can talk about these feelings. Um, another thing is uh, tree and sun and I always recommend pairing it with rhymes if they are not interested they are learning for the first time like Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree so you can just erase them and tell them that oh it's hiding so you can introduce the concept of hiding right uh, so something like that you can be creative and um, remember that you know just take the child leaves if the child is doing uh trying you know is not interested just draw wiggle 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 and then say oh it's a water let's splash 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 so just introduce the fun part to it then they will probably copy slash 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 and they will be more interested in oh these lines are making something that they already know it's water and then they can do splash or uh, just draw a cloud oh it's raining we need an umbrella let's draw an umbrella so just keep talking what we are drawing and keep things simple because you know not uh, all of us are artists so try to draw something that um, they can associate like yes it does look like an umbrella or rather than you know 
calling it something else. So yes, um, be creative and uh, enjoy working with your little kid. 